So now what about functions of three variables? How do we, how do we find the partial derivative of a function of three variables? Well, let's work through an example to show you how it's not much harder. Uh, it's actually fairly simple. Let's say that we have a function g, x, y, and z. It's a three variable function. And the function is x sine of y divided by z squared. Now we need to be careful to not use the quotient rule when it doesn't need to be used. In this case we do have a quotient, however since the x's and y's only appear in the numerator and the z's only appear in the denominator, this, is really, this really isn't a quotient rule problem. So let's do the derivatives with respect to x and y first. In both these cases the z's are constant and so the denominator in this is a constant and so we don't really need to worry too much about it. So the derivatives are this, say g of the function, th three variable function with respect to x is going to be sine of y over z squared. Now all we did was differentiate x which comes out to one, one. so uh, that partial derivative with respect to x is going to be sine, sine y divided by z squared. Now the same, uh, finding the partial derivative with respect to y, so all we're doing is holding the x and the z squared uh, constant and differentiating sine y, we find that the partial der derivative with respect to y is equal to x cosine of y divided by z squared. Now in this case of differentiation with respect to z, we can avoid the quotient rule by rewriting, rewriting the function. So we have g, x, y, z can be rewritten as x sine of y, z to the negative square. Now this is simple. Now all we need to do is find uh, the uh, partial derivative with respect to z by uh, just uh, using our, our standard uh, derivative rule. So we got the partial derivative with respect to z is equal to negative 2x sine of y z to the negative 3. Which also can, we can rewrite that in the quotient as negative 2x sine of y divided by z to the third. So that's it. It's uh, not much harder. Uh, you just continue to hold the constants that you not that you aren't differentiating as con or the variables that you're not differentiating as constants and uh, just uh, differentiate the ones that you are looking for. Thank <laughs> you.